This video is going to demonstrate how a route suggestion from a shore center is displayed on uh, NaviSailor and what you can do with that suggestion. So the shore center will send a route suggestion to my ship and I will get a notification that a suggestion has been received right now. So STC Lindholmen has sent me a suggestion for me to review and it is fully up to the captain on board this ship to use the route or not. So let's see what kind of route they have sent. So load route to route planning for review. I click on that one and my route planning menu is open automatically. I still have my monitored route here, CTH Emily Love Portsmouth, and I have the one active or blue is the STC Lindholm and Sim, same name as my monitored route. So let's see what they have suggested. I can zoom in to the route and have a look how it looks like. I can move down this table a bit and zoom in. And here we get the picture that my monitored route is of course red and the route suggestion is blue. And I can see that the shore center is actually suggesting me or us to take the deep water channel at NAB to enter the Solent for whatever reason. Now it will be fully up to the ship to decide if they would like to use that route and if they do use it, then the ship needs, of course, to do a full route check, which is done below here on the menu Check Route. So I can run to start route checking. You have to check, of course, all your safety settings and all that stuff as it is customary. I have quite a lot of dangers. I will not have the time to go through all of these, but in principle you would have to do that. But for demonstration purposes, I am simply accepting the route checking results, which I have to do because if I'm not accepting my route checking, I can't load the route to monitoring. Then the question pops up, would you like to check the voyage plan report? Yes, I do. I get this table, close it again and I can save now the route which I have received. I save it. I can also do a schedule calculation or I could in principle even use the schedule which I have used before or which I'm using presently on my monitored route as these two routes doesn't differ that much. Then the next step will be to set if this route is acceptable to the ship, if it has been checked thoroughly, then the route can be put to monitoring. A uh, window pops up uh, which asks you which kind of schedule or which schedule would you like to use. And I'm using the same schedule as I have used previously. Lua of Portsmouth, click on OK. And First of all, you see that the route turns red, but also you see that the window pops up. Destination port specified, set the destination port in route planning port called sub page. Now this feature is uh, connected with the port CDM, the port collaborative decision making, that the port itself also gets this information regarding your schedule, your time of arrival, and could send you recommended time of arrivals. This setting is done below here and the port call and in real life it might work with a certain amount of ports. In simulation it doesn't really work with that many ports yet but in principle you would set your destination port according to the list and it would pop up let's say Venice Southampton I think it should be there. It is there, but I'm not sure if it is active. It is yellow. It should be white if the port is actually active and receiving your data. 
You can, for the moment, at least in simulation, disregard that. So basically we have now a root which is monitored red, whereas our old root is still presented in brown. Now the root planning, good seamanship, is to close these two, both of them. Oh, I haven't cancelled, I haven't saved that one yet again, so I save it again. Current schedule, yes. Active schedule, Lara of Portsmouth asking me again. Okay. And it says it again. That's probably because I made some mistakes there. But still, now we are sailing along the route which was suggested from the shore center. I still have, I can see it, there's still the blue one, so I still have a route loaded in monitoring which I need to close. So I'm simply left with the monitored red route. This is, like I pointed out in the beginning, this is a route suggestion and it is fully up to the ship to check the route, run the safety settings and decide if they want to use the route or not. It is a suggestion like the name says. That was the route reception from a shore.